So the point is that whole milk is just not a good thing. You know, it's right, just you know, not. When you look, you and I, you and I talked about that that issue of obesity in kids and whether or not we needed to start curtailing what was going to be in school lunches, what was available for people with food stamps uh, and staff sure. benefits, because we said, hey, look, you know, should we really be paying for junk food or start start curtailing that? Um, and forgive me, I'll give you the last word on this, but uh, the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, uh, children who drank whole milk had a 40% lower odds of being overweight or obese compared with children who consumed reduced fat milk. And what I'm wondering is how much should this be uh, at the this federal level, the state level, and then the local level, for example, where you were with the New Orleans Public Schools? Yeah, I mean, I think that this is, should be at the federal level because there's some things that are just incorrect. And so, I, like I said, I, I'm a study uh, a study guru. I'm a clinical trials uh, principal investigator over 70 clinical trials in peer-reviewed journals. There's a study that said milk will kill you, and there's a study that said milk is a good thing. We can make studies say whatever we want them to say. I just want us to kind of harken back to the reality of all this by saying that we know that saturated fat is not good for the heart. We know that saturated fat causes you to be obese. Obesity is a big problem. And if we start to go back and go down this road, there's a reason why the American Academy of Pediatrics says that we should not have whole milk after the age of two. I mean, it's because the nutrition is not, it's, it's not a, a really, right. uh, it's not a thing. You know, it's just not. So, all right, there, there's, there's the good doctor. You're always welcome here. We appreciate it. I, I, I think we're going to have to sort of change it, Dr. Common Sense. It almost sounds like a TV hey. guy who's you've been on TV before. <laughs> Dr. Corey Bear from, from New Orleans. It's good to see you, sir. Thank you very much. You, With us you, now, you. co-sponsor of the Milk Act, Whole Milk Act for Healthy Kids, Mark Alford of Missouri, all right, did the doctor have it wrong? You're going to argue with the doctor on Look, TV? Look, I am all about common sense. You know that. Okay. I came here to get common sense things done. A common sense measure is to pass this bill. This whole thing started back in 2010 with Michelle Obama, the Obama administration, trying to get kids healthier. Yes, we need healthier kids. They introduced uh, a lot of things like broccoli and skim milk outlawed whole milk in our schools. And what happened? I've got the stats here from the National Institutes of Health. Obesity levels in 2010 were 16.9% of our children. In 2023, it went up with skim milk to 19.3%. So we had an increase in obesity levels. Mm -hmm. Mandating skim milk in our schools did not help obesity. Okay, what about just eliminating milk altogether like the good doctor says? Look, milk, the, the, dairy, the Dairy Council would not be happy with Milk this. is good for the body. It's got the fats, the healthy fats that you need for brain development, especially in teens. And let me tell you, I've got two milks here. I didn't, couldn't find skimp milk. Uh, I've got the 2% mm -hmm. and the whole milk. Mm -hmm. So You're not going to make us drink it. No, I'm, I'm not going to make you drink it, but skim milk has how much fat in it, Leland? I, I don't know. Zero percent. Oh. How much does whole milk have in it? 4%. 3.25%. Okay. People would have you believe that you're drinking melted butter. It's, it's not poison. Okay, it is so whole I, okay, milk that's healthy for your body. Help me with this, though. Why should, with everything that's happening in America right now, why is it that a congressman and Republicans who talk all the time about local control of things, why attach regulations to federal food dollars? Because unfortunately, the federal government has waded into the education system, which I do not believe should have ever happened. Since we're there, since we're uh, supporting schools with money uh, to feed our children, we have a say in how those dollars are spent. This bill is not mine. This is G.T. Thompson from our Ag Committee. Yep. I'm simply a co-sponsor of it. He has been fighting tooth and nail along with other common sense Republicans and Democrats to get whole milk okay. back in our schools. So now you understand it's a little hard, right, when you also have other Republicans who are saying that they want not only whole milk, but chocolate milk, strawberry milk, on and on and on. This bill, I brought the bill, may offer students flavored and unflavored whole, reduced fat, low fat, fat-free fluid milk, lactose-free fluid milk. So in other words, chocolate milk's okay now. We're giving students an option of what they want. Is right, but, but if we want to reduce obesity, how is having our federal dollars pay for chocolate milk and then having to pay in the later on in life when they have type 2 diabetes going to help? Look, we need to cut down on obesity, no doubt about it, not yeah. just in our young people, but in our adults. And that's one of the things we're working on the farm bill with a SNAP program. The SNAP program is going to be about 82 percent of the farm bill this year. We're working on that. This now. is this is what we would call, call food stamps. And this is what the yes, discussion we don't call it that anymore. But, but it's the, we've the got idea. to get the nutrition. The N stands for nutrition. We've got to get the nutrition back in SNAP.
Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.